Good morning, Kingsboard. How many people are grateful to be alive this morning? Can you do me a favor this morning? Um, can you think back as how God has been faithful in your life? And can you just lift your hands and say, thank you, Jesus? Or well, somebody's not saying it. Can you say, thank you, Jesus? One more time, can you say, thank you, Jesus? So before we go ahead this morning, I want to really thank uh, Pastor Amy and thank you so much, Pastor Naomi, for having me. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Also want to thank um, Dr. K, also in absentia. Can you, can you celebrate your pastors this morning? So the combination of my music ministry is both in the word and music. And as we navigate this morning, I would ask that your hearts are open to receive from God. I would also ask that you just concentrate on God. You see, the validity of the songs that you sing is not because the song is trending. It's simply because of the revelation that you have about that song. For it's in revelation that there is power made available. Yeah? Yeah. Because worship is only complete as a cycle when you become, not just when you sing. Yeah. So this morning, my assignment is to bring you into a place where you see God for who he is and where you worship him for who he is. I'm going to teach you a very simple song of mine. Um, I released it uh, last year. Very simple. It says that I have seen your grace and I will never remain the same. Very simple song. I have seen your grace and I will never remain the same. Oh, okay. I have seen your grace. Can I have the keyboard come up more, please? And I will never remain the same. Very simple. I'll sing it one more time. I have seen your grace. And I will never remain the same again. I have seen your grace. And I will never remain the same. Kings was can you sing it this morning? I've seen your grace. I have seen your grace. And I will never, I will never remain the same. Our King, I have seen your grace. And I will never remain, I will never remain the same. Without a choir, just a church, I've seen your grace. sound very beautiful. I will never remain our game our game I've seen your grace and I will never remain now can we lift our voices this morning and declare Sit, I've seen your grace I have seen I will never remain, never remain the same again. I've seen, I've seen your grace. I will never remain. Can you lift a voice this morning and declare? Say, I have seen your grace. 
Jesus is running after. He's running after me. Your goodness is running. Is running after Your me. Is it's running after it's running me. After Your goodness me. is running, it's running, it's running, it's running, it's running, it's running. With my life played out, played out, I'm so ready. Surrender now, I give you your goodness, yes. Hey, hey, it's running out. Say, all of my life, all my life, you have been faithful. We are not an ungrateful generation, we will declare. This morning, and thank the Lord. Give him all the praise that he alone deserves. Set a candle on a Monday. Hey, hey, hey! I have seen your goodness. I have seen your grace. I have seen your goodness. I have seen your grace. Everything that you have done is good and good enough. Hey, this is my declaration. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. 30 more seconds. Make sure you are thanking him. It's got the power to save. Oh, it's got the power to save. Say every knee, every knee, every knee will bow. Every knee will bow down. Before the one who wants and needs to come, you say. Every, every tongue, tongue will bow. Say 
There is only one name. There is only one name. Oh, look at your Rukha Lao. Baba, me, I call that yo. There is only one name. It's got the power to save. The power to save. It's got the power to save. The power to save. Hey, to come now and now, come in, 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 in. Yes, yes, declare it. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, you are here now. Heaven open. Say, so we say, we declare, we say, you reign, you reign, since I was king. I'm a 
chapter 37. Bring it down, bring it down. I need you to understand what we're about to do because the next song is very prophetic. Can I have your attention for a few minutes? We're going to sing one more song and I would ask you prophetically to be in a procession like we move around. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 34, we know the story of Jacob and his sons and how he had one son who was very beautiful because this is the word that God gave me for this house. And so the son Joseph was distinguished from his brothers and the Bible says that Joseph, bring it down now, it said Joseph had a coat of many colors. Now, from the father's perspective, bring it down Ayo, bring it down Ayo. From the father's perspective, a coat was to distinguish him from his brothers. But the father did not know that he was preaching prophetically about his son. Now, scripture says that when Joseph got to his brothers, that the, that the brothers connived to kill him because he was always speaking about things that look beyond human comprehension. Remember what Pastor Emmy said about faith? Because you see, faith is the future state of the present thing. Faith is calling the things that are not as though they are. So you see, the language of faith is more tangible than the things that your eyes can see. So, scripture says when they got to his brothers, they connived to kill him. But guess who is the firstborn of, of Jacob? Judah. Judah said, let us not kill him, let's keep him. And then the Bible said, you know the story, he was sold into slavery until he became a prime minister. Now, listen, Judah represents praise. The coat of many colors was actually the coat of many colors of different countries because Joseph ended up becoming the one who would keep Egypt and, and keep the nations from dying from starvation. So when his father put his coat on him, he thought it was just to differentiate him. It was because God had an assignment for him. Kings Lord London, the Lord has an assignment for you in this city. Are you getting what I'm saying? There is more to you than what you are doing. That God has given you a, there is a when I came into this temple, I noticed the flavor of many colors of people who are going to rise in business, people who are going to rise in ministry. So it was not a coincidence that I came at a time when you are having your graduation. Now, this is the end of that revelation. Judah is known as praise, and Judah is the firstborn, and Joseph was after Judah. And the Bible says, who is called the prince, who, who is called the prince of Judah? Jesus. So whatever Judah precedes, Judah must protect. Whatever thanksgiving and praise precedes, thanksgiving must protect. You don't need to have the best of languages. You don't need to be eloquent. As long as you can bow before God, as long as you can worship, as long as you don't lose your thanksgiving, as long as you don't lose your praise, God is about to settle every other thing in your life. So I have called upon the Lord. I have called upon the Lord. I want you to walk around this other 
auditorium now. Are you ready? Say, I have called upon my God. I have called upon the Lord. He is worthy to be praised.
You are my God. 